on everybody welcome back to droidlife.com so what we've got today is the update actually i say tonight this is the update for the droid x the 2.2 uh, update that is now official um you know we've been waiting for this for a while it got released tonight it was supposed to be coming out tomorrow at noon but for whatever reason you know it came out early and you can pull it right now so anyway um what you'll notice first off is a new lock screen so if you've been on 2.1 you've had that gray lock screen this entire time well now you got this blue lock screen which is similar to the one actually it's exactly the same as the one on the droid 2 so not sure why they changed it but i kind of like it better than that gray version so um anyway let's just jump right in actually i think the clock moved over a little bit too but anyway let's jump right in and show you um i will tell you right away that i'm using launcher pro i refuse to use that blur launcher it was so awful on 2.1 and i don't believe that I got that much better in 2.2. I've been running leak 2.2 for you know months now, so I it, I wasn't impressed with it either. I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend Launcher Pro for sure. Um, but that new Blur Launcher, it's exactly the same. There's not a lot of updates to it. It might run a little bit smoother, have a little more stability, but they didn't really tweak all that much to it. So anyway, um, but let's jump in and show you what you really care about, and that is the About screen, just to make sure that we really are on. Droid X 2.2, and you can see right there version 2.3.15 from Verizon. That's the official version. Um, I'm not rooted, not hacked. That's official. I pulled it myself. Um, for those of you that want to pull this update, all you do is go up to System Updates, and Blur does this nice thing where it actually checks to see if there's any updates available, and you can pull them, and it says my device is up to date. So I pulled it. Um, it's a pretty cool feature for Blur, actually. A lot of people hate Blur, but that's one of the nice things. You can really pull updates rather than waiting it for it to be pushed to your device. Um, so anyway, we're not going to do a full walkthrough of Froyo because it's been done a hundred times on all these different devices. The Droid X just happens to be one of the last ones to get it. Um, but I did want to show you a couple of things. Sound and display are now separated into two separate um, two separate little, little tabs, I guess you want to call them. And a lot of people have their issues with this whole, um, this whole vibrate. Thing. You can no longer use your rocker switch to get to straight to vibrate. You have to kind of set it up anyway. Not going to go into it. It's frustrated people, but just letting you know. Um, display. Not a lot of changes in there, but you can now rotate 270 degrees with your phone. So you can see I can go either way. And it does do that. That's a Froyo feature. Um, the other thing which you probably really care about, which I'd like to show everyone, is the Applications tab. Um, in Manage Applications, you actually can do apps to your SD card now. So it's one of those things a lot of people wanted to do, especially on the Droid 1. Um, with the Droid X, you don't necessarily need to do it. you got so much internal space to store apps, but you never know if you want to load something on there. And then the other big thing is right here where my thumb is, Adobe Flash Player 10.1. That will come preloaded once you update to 2.2. .2. Um, and then I've already updated in the market to 10.1.95. That's the version that fixed that security leak or security exploit that was in the uh, previous version. So that'll be in the market right away once you get 2.2. So go ahead and grab that. And we'll show you a demo of that in just a little bit. Um, the other things you want to notice in here um, are like the battery manager has now been updated to have a battery meter. Don't believe that was in 2.1. You can click on that and it gives you... Uh, you know what's been using up most of your battery usually it's obviously display but it, you know gives you all of that um, and I believe there's some new battery modes or at least you can customize them a little bit more okay what else is in here um, voice input will show you in just a little bit you know have voice actions with 2.2 um, you know that's basically it as far as actually I think in location security you have some new um, lock features and stuff like that there's a whole bunch of new security stuff added in which is you know pretty nice thing um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if we get out of there, we'll show you um, voice actions. If we long press and do a voice search, there you go. Voice action should be preloaded. If not, you can at least download it in the market. These are the voice actions that let you do, you know, all kinds of different stuff like send text to somebody, um, navigate. You can do that all just by, you know, speaking with your voice. So that's a 2.2 .2 feature only. Um, the other thing I want to show you is if you long press on the home screen, you now have eight most recently used applications. You used to only have six. So that's kind of a cool new thing. Oh, let me show you in the app drawer. Um, the 3G mobile hotspot has supposedly been updated. I can't confirm that. I don't actually use the app since it's paid, um, but it has been supposedly updated a little bit. Let's see the car dock. I believe this changed just slightly with 2.2. I've been using 2.2 for a while, so I'm not totally sure what 2.1 used to look like, but they did change this up a little bit as far as I know. So close and get out of there. Um, as far as other apps go, they haven't made a whole lot of changes. Let's see if we can get a focus there again. Um, in the gallery, I will show you. Gallery now has folders. 
Gallery now has folders instead of just that long row list of everything going on. You actually have folders going on now. So, and you have a camera button down there. So, nice little update there. Um, let's go ahead. Actually, we can go into the gallery and let's go ahead and show you the camera because the camera software did change and it changed for the better. Um, you now have an on screen camera button up there. So, we can just click that and take a picture of my finger, I believe. Let's go ahead and delete that. Um, but yeah, you now have an on-screen camera button, which let me tell you right now comes in so handy. Um, you can tap the screen and you get your whole menu of settings over here. Not a lot of different settings going on in there, but it's just a whole nicer UI, a whole layout of everything, and that on-screen camera button is much nicer. Okay, so new camera software a little bit. And it's back out of there. Let's go ahead and go back into the app drawer. And navigation now hasn't really changed. You still got preloaded with bloatware. Um, you can see I have some root apps on there. Trust me, I'm not rooted. I tried. Didn't work. Um, let's see. BZ Navigator is now on there. So that's been added. <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that's pretty much it as far as apps go. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the uh, the new market. So new market. See, I've already got the uh, new Gmail app loaded up already for you. You can see automatic updating. That's a 2.2 feature. And you can get this new Gmail app which uh, is amazing by the way just like I said Froyo just adds a whole bunch of little tweaks to the operating system that make it that much nicer and that much more responsive and all that stuff so um, you can see there Google search flash player and Gmail are all now in the market so you can get all those and look I have a I have a Google search update so I might as well update that um, so yeah there's a whole bunch of new just little tweaks stuff that you definitely need to that you definitely need to experience. So uh, let's go ahead and go in the browser though. I know a lot of you want to see Flash Player in action. Let's see if we can load it up here. Okay, so we got, oops, go back. We're running a little slow since we're downloading apps. Okay, we're on Droid Life. Let's go uh, landscape. Actually, let's go this way since I never really go this way, but I can now that I have Froyo. And let's go ahead and load up this video. It's so a review we did of the Droid 2 Multimedia Dock, just so you can see Flash in action. I'm actually going to wait for the web page to load. Oh, there it did. Okay, so I'm on Wi-Fi. I remember that, but let's just show you how nicely Flash actually runs on the Droid X, a device that can really power it. So you can see there, that animation of ours for our intro is actually pretty smooth. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to DroidLife.com. So today, just doing a quick review of the Droid Down volume. And you can see right there how you know smooth that is. That's in a web browser or on a mobile browser that is not you know on a desktop and that runs perfectly smooth. I would say, okay. So that's a pretty cool thing right there. Okay. So that's pretty much it for Flash. I did want to show you. I know a lot of people still care about these, even though they've been sort of shown as not all that reliable. Um, actually, Limpack's fine. Let's show you some benchmarks real quick. Okay, I know everyone loves a good benchmark, run benchmark. Linpack scores and Droid or Motorola devices do not play all that well. It must be the, the Texas Instruments processors. You can see we're only getting 14 and I know everyone in their Droid incredibly bragging about how they get 40. It's just, it must be the processor, just the way it processes, you know, whatever this is doing. So, you know, it tops out about 14.4. I think you can get 16 possibly. Um, the real one that we care about though is Quadrant. I know Quadrant's known to be sort of not that reliable, but whatever. We still like to see it in action, don't we? So let's go run full benchmark. And we'll just bust through this really quickly. Just got to say again that the 2.2 update for the Droid X, um, it will make you fall back in love with your device. I know in the first few weeks when I had it, and I had 2.1 before the 2.2 leaks came out. There was nothing more frustrating than trying to send a text message, call someone, use the browser. Everything was super duper laggy and slow. And then once 2.2 leak came out, I put that on there. It was like a whole new device and it quickly became my favorite device ever. So, and it still is to this day. No front facing camera. Who really needs that, right? To me, it's the best device you'll find on the market. And 2.2, I'm sure will impress the rest of you as well. So, okay, here we go. Now you can see we're doing decent frame rates and stuff like that. You know, the processor in this thing's pretty beastly. Not a lot of lag going on in there. 
And here we go. Let's see what we get for a score. 2.2 .2 Droid X and better than the Nexus One. Okay, so I've been running for a little while. Um, a lot of a lot of people have been reported those in the 1400s, but uh, you can see the Droid X is definitely a beast. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. That's a walkthrough of the uh, Android 2.2 .2 for the Droid X. We finally got it. Um, Launcher Pro right here. I highly suggest that. And uh, I don't know. Check us out the blog. We'll be covering this for the next probably few days. So anyway, peace.